to the Region 15 cheerleading competition. We are pleased that everyone can be with us this evening. You are in for a real treat. I'm always excited when I am invited to um, this region to be with you. I'm Lucy Moore, an advisory board member on the KPOS board, and I feel like Region 15 is kind of my second home. Uh, the coaches are friends, and the girls are excellent, and young men are excellent cheerleaders, and it's always a pleasure for me to be here. We would like to open up the evening if everyone would rise for the national anthem. We have Ashley Fleming, who is a Pike Bowl High School senior, who will sing the national anthem for us. along 
and I will be announcing them so, and telling you which division so that you can kind of keep track of the order of what we're doing. And without any further delay, I believe we are ready to begin. We are going to start off the evening with the traditional category. Now, each team... Okay, they're telling me they're not ready. So, while we're doing that, I will introduce you to some of these expert judges we have with us. Okay. All right, the first... We also have technical judges. Now, what's going on behind these curtains over here is not really a secret, but there are technical judges that are there in case the, while the teams are warming up, if they, if they have any questions or um, we have to follow the National Federation rules, just like the basketball, football, baseball, all our high school teams. are having to uh, follow their rules. The cheerleaders also follow these National Federation rules. In order to try to prevent any kind of deductions or technical penalty points, we have um, technical judges behind those curtains as the teams warm up so that if they have any questions, they can help them or make suggestions. Um, they're, not th they're only there for advice. We have on the floor, technical judges who are actually watching the routine to make sure um, that nothing is wrong and should there be, then those, um, the judges on the floor are giving the technical deductions. So, the technical judges on the floor are Deborah Cornett, who's the scribe, who is sitting at the table to my left. Deborah is um, going to be taking notes of anything that um, if the people on the floor are telling her. And Deborah is from lovely Kentucky. On the floor then is Chris Alderman from Region 16 in Moorhead and Wanda Brown from Viper in Region 14. Now the technical judges behind the curtain are Jeffrey Huffman from Olive Hill in Region 16. Hack Hudson from Region 14 in Jackson. And D.D. Shufflebarger from Region 16 in Grayson. So those are our folks who are trying their best to keep our teams from having any technical deductions. We also have timers um, eat so that you'll know what they're looking for. The um, time, and I'm going to give the team a little minute to catch their breath there. The cheer in the traditional category can be no more than 60 seconds. The music in the palm can be no more than a minute and a half. Likewise, in the two and a half minute routines, the audio proportion can be no more than a minute 30, and the cheer portion can be no more than a minute. So our timers timing this tonight are Amber Cantrell from Elkhorn, Melissa Turner from Prestonsburg, Carrie Davis from Prestonsburg, and Cheryl Blair from Paintsville. All of these timers are certified KPOS judges, so they are familiar with all the rules in addition to the timing rules. When the teams are called to the floor, they will have an opportunity for a sound check before they begin the music portion. And I think if they've got their bread, our first traditional team comes to us from Lawrence County. So welcome. Raven Jude, Shelby Pigman, Karen Sticky, Rachel Walker, Marina Ward, Callie Kahn, Allie Dotson, Lexi Frazier, 
Kaylee Rucker, Morgan Thorpe, Shayna Courtney, Allie Pigman, Chelsea Shepherd, Courtney Schinke, Haley Young. Welcome, Lawrence County.
cheerleaders. As promised, we're going to bring back the Lawrence County Bulldog cheerleaders to do their palm in the traditional category. If the girls would like to come to the floor for your sound check. This is just for sound check. of those has a separate uh, point value that they're worth. 
They are also looking at both difficulty and the execution of each of these areas. They're looking for partner stunts, pyramids, and vasculitosis, tumbling, jumps, motions, formations, transitions, and spacing. That, that category is worth 44 points. There's an overall effect that they will be looking to see if actually if the girls look like they're having a good time and wanting to get you in, you just want to get up and get down there on the mat with them. And that category is worth six points with their facial expression, voice, and then also their formation changes. All right, we'll tell you a little more about that as we go along. But we are ready for the Belfry Red team. And Belfry has two teams, but the Belfry Red team, who is going to be competing in the large varsity division. So let's welcome Michaela Hughes, Morgan Varney. No, they're not ready. Okay. I was told, but they've changed their minds. The team at Appalachian Wireless wants to say thank you as they kick off the holidays with a special event, the Appalachian Wireless 30th Anniversary Holiday Sale. Appalachian Wireless is celebrating 30 years, and we want to say thank you with a holiday sale that will make everyone's holiday merry and bright. From now till the end of the year, visit us in-store or reserve online for an unbelievable sale and giveaway. We know what you want for the holidays because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearhart Broadband for a great offer today.
And those are your Belfry Red Pirate Cheerleaders competing in the large varsity division. We just don't want to rush the teams after they've come out and warm up, so we want to give them a chance to catch their breath. But now, moving on in the traditional category with their cheer are the Pikeville Panther cheerleaders. Let's welcome Lindsay Akers, Morgan Curry, Casey Huff, Haley Ward-Wagner, Laird Hamilton, Cassidy Coleman, Nicole Lane, Casey McCoy, Savannah Pratt, Jay Mack, Megan Maynard, Kaylee Markham, Morgan Roberts, Brandy May, Jasmine Wilson, Taylor Collins, Makai Fannin, Sydney Fannin, Alexa Stanley, Cameron Sloan, and Lindsay Chang. They are your Pikeville Panther cheerleaders. We have our first team competing in the super large category. They are the Pike County Central Cheerleaders. Welcome Chessa Thacker, Elizabeth Campbell, Loretta Emmy, Charlie Murphy, Caitlin Clevenger, Taylor Tovey, Casey Reynolds, Casey Wilcox, Sydney Scott, Taylor Sowers, Kayla Ellswick, Kayla Hall, Megan Kirk, Lisa Jarvis, Leisha Jarvis, Haley Sawyers, Haley Johnson, Bailey Boyd, Drew Hall, Autumn Hillerman, Kendra Lynch, Katie Hager, Felicia Chapman, Kaylee Justice, Cassidy Pruitt, Keisha Wilson, Megan Thacker, Kelsey Sawyers, Hillary Mullins, and Hayden Smullen. Those are your Pike County Central cheerleaders. This is just your sound check. Let's welcome Pike County Central cheerleaders.
applause of the ladies that cheer for their hawks at Pike County Central, competing in the super large varsity division. Panther cheerleaders to do their traditional palm. We've got a little technical problem over here. Hang on. Okay, we're ready. Get in your position.
cheer it for your Prestonsburg Black Cat cheerleaders. Also, we would ask for the spectators to please not come down into the area where the judges are seated. Please don't come down in the judges' area. The co-ed team is ready to take the floor. So let's welcome to the floor Kristen Daly, David Daniels, Kate Hall, Morgan Hensley, Lindsey Horn, Lexi Johnson, Madison Justice, Morgan Kaiser, Hannah Maynard, Kim Sloan, Haley Smith, Natalie Smith, Michaela Thacker, Alisa Teeters, Haley Vaughn, and Kay. And I'm going to say this wrong. I should have got my pronunciation right.
Jesse, Stephanie Daniels, Jordan Miller, Lizzie Wilson, Sydney Cherico, Savannah Jackson, Caitlin Majesi, Renee Trimble, Madison Mead, Whitley Bartley. Welcome your Paintsville Tiger cheerleaders to the floor for their sound check.
and those are your Johnson Central Eagle cheerleaders in the medium division. whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24 seven monitoring. We control our system from anywhere and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit gearheartsecurity.com to learn more. Smile, girl. Act like you like each other. This is our Chicago. Stop! We're gonna enjoy every minute of it. You two, come in or what? Hey, wake up, brother. It is payback time. It's bigger than the two of us, now. You gotta decide for yourself who you gonna be. The Bellator K has landed! Ah! Start, and I think they might 
maybe, but districts maybe. But from Johnson Central, if you will come to the floor and remember, please stay, just make a big line so that we can have everyone out here so that parents and friends can get pictures. So from Johnson Central, Alicia Byers. Jenna Castle. If all our seniors can come on down to the floor so you'll be ready. Chelsea Goble. Lincoln Grierson. Our Eric Johnson. If all of the senior cheerleaders will come to the floor at this time. <laughs> if anyone knows where Johnson Control is. <laughs> Cassie Huff, 
Hayden Wagner, Lindsay Cheney, our Pikeville seniors. From the Belfry Red Team, Morgan Barney, Michaela Hughes, Kara Savage, Chrissy Dawson, and Megan Hall. There are some of our future Pecos judges. Those girls have been turned and we'll be ready to see them again next year judging. From our Belfry White team, Haley Smith and Natalie Smith. Those are your seniors from the Belfry White team. And from Pike County Central, Casey Reynolds. Alicia Jarvis, Lisa Jarvis, Mackenzie Newsom, Charlie Murphy, and Megan Kirk, the seniors from Pike County Central. Look at all the many years of hours and all the time that these young people have spent. Give them a big hand of applause while we get some pictures. Okay, no sound check, girls, when you hear this, ready to be on, okay? 
the twin cheerleaders are preschool through second grade. So you can see they start early here, get them ready, which is why the 15th Legion has such great cheerleading.
job, Pyro AAU cheerleaders. Our next team to perform are the Belfry All-Stars. Let's welcome the Belfry All-Stars to the floor.
Good job. Again, it's easy to see why the Region 15 cheerleading competition is always one of the best in the state. And all of these young ladies and gentlemen are winners today. The team at Appalachian Wireless wants to say thank you as they kick off the holidays with a special event, the Appalachian Wireless 30th Anniversary Holiday Sale. Appalachian Wireless is celebrating 30 years, and we want to say thank you with a holiday sale that will make everyone's holiday merry and bright. From now till the end of the year, visit us in-store or reserve online for an unbelievable sale and giveaway. We know what you want for the holidays because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. More than ever, life is full of change. And sometimes change is good. Same with your cable package. By upgrading to streaming with Gearheart TV, you get a ton of features and content. That's entertainment for everyone, no matter what they watch or how they do it. Change doesn't have to be a challenge either. Streaming with Gearheart TV is easy to use on the devices you already have. Ready for change? Contact Gearheart TV and make the switch to streaming today. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. Being a cheerleading coach is definitely a full-time job uh, that usually involves a full-time job plus the full-time job you already have. It requires an extreme commitment, an enormous amount of time, and true love for the young people you coach. We would like to honor three of our 15th region coaches at this time for the service they have given to cheerleaders at their respective schools. And we want to make sure we get pictures for the Capos scrapbook of these ladies. When I read this, it's really kind of unbelievable when you hear the number of years that I'm going to tell you about. Sherry Casey of Belfry High School. is receiving a plaque for 26 years of service to the 15th Region Cheerleading as Belfry's cheer coach. Belfry Sherry had several um, winners at Region, and I know that it's important to her that she has, um, she probably would also get the award for having the most interns uh, come back to be KPOS judges, and we always want those good KPOS judges, so we appreciate uh, Sherry and her interns that she always brings with us. Our next one is Lisa Wheeler of Pikeville High School. She's receiving a plaque also for 26 years of service to 15th Region Cheerleading as Pikeville White Team Cheer Coach. And this is not in my script, but I, I want to add this because Lisa and I go back a long way. When I was just beginning at Brown County as a cheer coach and teacher, Lisa did her student teaching at Brown County. And while she was not my student teacher, she certainly came through and helped me learn a lot about cheerleading. And I really Appreciate Lisa for many, many years. I know, I know that she loves these kids that she has coached for so many years. And just like my cheerleaders are like my babies and that I'm still hauling around with me, I know she feels the same about her. The next coach is Jeannie Stone of Kyle High School. And Jeannie is receiving a plaque for, okay, and I know this is not a typo, 36 years of service to the 15th Region Cheerleading as Pikeville Maroon Cheer Coach. 
Now, I haven't figured that out because she must have started coaching when she was like four or five years old. So I, I'm not sure how that works, but I know Jeannie has been here for many, many years and, and you just kind of, you see Pikeville and you think Jeannie Stone. So we want to congratulate all three of these special ladies. Ten years ago, the coaches of Region 15 established a scholarship to be given to a cheerleader each year at the regional competition. This scholarship is to honor a 15th Region cheerleader who is a leader of her school as well as a leader of her team. Also, the recipient should maintain a high academic standard. This scholarship is named for what I could probably call 15th Region Miss Capos, and that is Jeanette Elder. Jeanette served on the Capos board for over 30 years. Her influence in cheerleading in this region has been felt by all of us. And at this time, we are so pleased that we have Mrs. Elder to present the 15th Region Jeanette Elder Scholarship. Now, a few years ago, when we started having this on Wednesday evening, your, the participation and the attendance has been so great that we have been able to not only give one scholarship, but two scholarships. So thank you to everyone who has attended because your attendance has allowed two young people people who have been given so much to cheerleading to be able to receive this scholarship. So you deserve an applause too. And this year's winners are, and also we want to get a picture for a paper scrapbook, Jenna Castle from Johnson Central. And in the super large varsity, the 60th 
district winner is Pike County Central. <laughs> Moving to the small co-ed division. In the 60th district, the winner is Belfry White. In the small varsity, the 57th district runner-up goes to Paintsville. And in the 57th district, the winner in the small varsity goes to Sheldon Clark. In the medium varsity division, the 57th district winner is Johnson Central. And now we will move to the regional awards. Remember that the winner of each division will advance to the state competition in Bowling Green on Saturday, February 18th. Uh, also, the coaches, after the competition, well, after the award ceremony, we have resource sheets that you can pick up at this table. And also, when we announce the winner, we would like the coach to please come with your team to get your award because we have information for the winning coaches that's very important that you have, as well as a winning plaque. So if the winning coach will please come down. In the traditional category, the runner-up is Lawrence County. And also named after Mrs. Elder, the traditional winner, Jeanette Elder Award, goes to Pikeville. <laughs> Coach, remember to come over and pick up your plaque and the information that you will need for state. In the large varsity division, the runner-up is Betsy Lane. And the large varsity win winner, advancing to state, Belfry Red. In the super large division, our runner-up is Pike County Central. <laughs> and our super large varsity winner goes to Prestonsburg.